buffet type thing. It is really cool. I mean, cool and tasty. Let me show you guys. These delicious pastries and yogurts. It's pretty cool. I'm going back. We didn't even know about this before. Yeah. Uh, the guy actually had to come in line. He was like, y'all know we have a buffet? Do y'all know we have a buffet? And uh, we was like, no, we do not. So he came and he showed us everything and it was really cool. People actually buy these ones. And then I think this is what you make salami with it? All different types of meats, they just cut it up. And then if you I guess you can come and take a sample like here, let me see. I'm not a celebrity person, but that's not bad. It's okay. Not bad at all. And then all the different oils. I've always heard about capers. I've never known what it was or even an artichoke. Well, I knew about artichoke, but just look at that. It gives you an endless amount of selection. And of course, if you come on this side, you get your nuts and your salads. And what I like about these salads right here, they grow all of these here in the island. Oh yeah, everything yeah, is here. All of these are grown here. Amazing. Green one, the different seeds, the cheeses. Oh, for my thing, I, I definitely need. What are the cheeses you were saying with the salami? I'm not too sure. I'll try this one. I'm not even a cheese person either, but I'm like, might as well, we're gonna be here. Might as well try it out, right? Let me see. Actually, those two together are not bad. I see why people have the charcuterie. Shuk <laughs> well, I think I said it right. Here is the chocolate room. You get a variety of different chocolates that you want. Why do you even notice they even have it up there too? And to be honest, a lot of these chocolates are very different. Like, I haven't really, like, I've never had a candied orange, chocolate dip candied orange. Have you ever had something like that? Mm -hmm, I have. You have? Yeah, it's a pretty good. Let me try this. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Out of everything I tried, that's yeah, good. those are good. Lemongrass ginger. Oh, and one thing I will say, these chocolate, I think they said they make the chocolates here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just tastes so good. You can taste that it's made out here. vegan as well some of them but it's vegan sugar-free ice cream and sorbet okay. all the different nuts and toppings you want and the coolest thing let me tell you there's a tree here and it's called a screw pine tree but they take the fruit from the screw pine and actually make it into an ice cream and that's this one right here I haven't tried it yet but I really do want to try it that one oh, here no. it's that one right there at the corner and so that's pretty much as we made from the fruits that's here on the land. Amazing. It's really good. No, I haven't tried it, so I'm gonna have to try it and let you know. <laughs> so we gave you guys this part of the tour. Um, refrigerator just kicked on, so it's a little loud, but we're gonna go ahead and go over here and get us, I guess, some type of soup or uh, 
some type of bowl. So you guys stay tuned. And this is the yellow noodle, egg noodle, rice noodle. And what was the name of this one? Soba. Soba? Yes, Japanese. Japanese soba noodles. So let's come in, order, tell them how we want it, and they'll send it to the table. Thank you. And here's the fruit section, guys, right up over here. You come get some fruits. the soup looks like. I ended up getting an egg noodle. They got some chili sauce, some green onion, and some soy sauce. Which is empty, but yeah. Oh, it's all inside here. It's pretty good actually. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> all right, let me dig in. So anyway, after we eat this food, which I'm already done with my soup, we're gonna go ahead and probably play around in the water for a little bit. And, um, Kayaking with the kids. Yeah, do some other activities. So, yeah, it's a nice day. It's been looking like it's gonna rain, but it's kind of hard to tell. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was bad over there, and it started closing everything up. Yeah. But then it went away. That's a good thing about being in the islands. It comes and it goes. Yeah. So we're gonna finish eating this food and go for a swim. Oh no, we need a use this energy that we gain. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. Well, this is kind of good. Well, it's very cold, guys. Hey, family. I'm right here in the, in the ocean. All right, guys. As you cannot tell, we just got done from swimming. I tried to get a little bit of footage with the GoPro, so hopefully this is good. It's kind of nice. Okay, we're trying to learn how to use this so we can get some better footage for you guys. But um, it's a nice little hammock, like in the middle of the water. So we're gonna head up over there on our bikes and get over there to the hammock. Come on. faster it's pretty cool amazing we're gonna make this hammock the hammock over there which we probably gonna end up going over there too but the main one that we wanted to go to was this one right here and this is the closest point to this one so it'd be better for us to go to this one and by the way don't worry because the water is only about three or four feet so everybody can stand up and we can actually walk over there the waves are a little bit uh, a little bit more heavier than yesterday but, but like i said it's, it's just fine I'm gonna hold her. She know how to swim. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and have ourselves a good old time on the hammock, take a few pictures. So um, you guys come along with us. Nathaniel, hey, hold on. Let's see first how deep it is. Yeah, no. Oh, I guess because we wait, we we waited too long. High tide came. We're supposed to go. We can go tomorrow in the morning. No. Oh yeah, no. Well, we can try to do the other hammock. 
Yeah. Alright guys, back on the bike. This is this thing called low tide and high tide, and right now it's high tide. I stepped out there and that water came all the way up to my neck. So there's no way I can go walk out there with the baby and for us to get out there to the hammock boat to safety. We should have came out here a little bit earlier. Like, 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 what time the lady said? They said before 11. Yeah, before 11. It's like 1 30. That way you can actually comfortably walk out there and go sit in the hammock. But, um, it's, uh, it's lunchtime anyway. The lady actually just drove down here to come and pick us up and be on our bike. So we're just gonna ride our bikes on. bikes over here good thing she pulled up when she did because this is a long ride and in, in, in this car here this is boogie so it would have been a long ride on the bike and i'm and ten ten really wanted to ride <laughs> so, oh, yeah no he said no he wanted to ride this vehicle yeah he was ready yeah. to ditch the bike yeah. he didn't want he didn't want to ride yeah, the bike when, ride once he seen you pulled up he said forget this bike <laughs> let's go get a ride But, um, yeah, so now we're heading to the crab shack to get us a bite to eat. And, Go kayaking after. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be good. Guys, keep your eyes peeled for a Then we can swing and eat. Oh, love it. We're about to have lunch. We are on a swinging table. Mombi's out. This is amazing. I love the swing. How you feel? I feel good. It's pretty cool. I like the swings. This artichoke is amazing. Uh, right? It's like the best seasoned artichoke I've ever had. On this seafood platter. It looks amazing. I haven't taken a bite yet. But it looks good. Let's go inside. It's uh, to me, it's breathtaking, but I'll let you guys make your own decision. 